Are you looking for a compact solar charger to help you keep your gadgets powered up while out in nature? This charger from Wisblue is certainly worth a look. Hi, and welcome to this Gadget Talk video. On this channel, we do reviews and how-tos on audio and video tools, cameras, and cool gadgets that catch my eye. This review falls into that last category. If you find this video helpful, please click the thumbs up button below the video and subscribe to the Gadget Talk channel. Please use the affiliate links in the description below to help support the channel. Thank you. Much of the camping my wife and I do is dry camping, so having a source of power for our electronic gadgets, besides the RV's onboard generator, is important. My goal for this lightweight foldable storage panel charger is to have something that I can lay out on a picnic table or on the ground and plug in one of my small ham or GMRS radios, my phone, a power block, or my tablet. This Swiss Blue panel has two 2.4 amp chargers that output 5 volts. I got the 21 watt version, so max power generation is 21 watts. If you remember Ohm's Law from a long ago science class, you might remember that watts equals the current times the voltage. You may also remember that you divide watts by either current or voltage to find the missing variable. So with 4.2 amps max, you can expect 2.1 amps when using both ports at the same time. When using just one, the available amperage is higher. Here are a quick couple of features before we take a look at the panel itself. First, as I just mentioned, it has two USB charging ports. It does not have an output to charge a 12 volt battery. Choose another product if that's what you need. Next, it has a built-in pouch that allows you to pack along the various cables your devices might need. Plan on a USB mini, micro, and USB-C cable if you're an Android person, and a USB-C and lightning cable if you're an iOS user. Having the cables with the charger means you'll always have what you need. The charger doesn't come with any cables. Last, the panel's fairly small size and lightweight makes this a solid choice for backpackers and tent campers. Let's take a closer look at the panel. Okay, so let's take a look at this Wisp Blue 21 watt solar charger and I figured what better way to do that than out in the sunshine. So here's you can see it's not very big. This is the size of my hand so it's a little bit longer than my hand. It folds up into a nice uh, compact um, device so, and then it closes with velcro and then at this point we'll spend a moment here and it just has a bit of a diagram that shows that you can plug in you know phones and devices and tablets and so forth. And then here is another Velcro tab, and you can put in cables in here, and I would recommend that you do that. And then right over here are the two USB uh, ports that are connected to the solar uh, panels themselves. So let's open this all up and get a better view. So here we have the device fully opened. You can see we've got grommets on the four corners, so if you wanted to you know, hang this up on a tent or on a backpack, uh, you could. Otherwise, you can have it laying out in the sun on a table like we have here or just on the ground. So we've got the three solar panels um, generating up to 21 watts, depending upon the intensity of the sun, the pouch, and the connectors for your USB devices. So there's not much to it. It doesn't come with cables. Uh, it comes with just the panels and the pouch. That's what you see, that's what you get, and my use of it so far has proven to be pretty effective. I've charged both 
um, a tablet and a phone at the same time, recognizing that, as I explained in the intro, that the total amperage going in is going to go down a little bit because of the, the wattage uh, limit on this particular charger. Or you can charge at, you know, kind of what the device expects in terms of current if you charge one at a time. So here I've got the uh, cable connected to the output and notice that if you can see in here um, that there's a little LED right there and it's glowing green. I'll try to put it in the shadow there. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, when it's not connected to the phone, it glows red. But when the LED is lit, it means that the solar panel is generating enough power to charge a device. In this case, I've got it charging my phone and it, my phone's at 67% and it says it's going to charge uh, for 66 minutes to get that last 40% at the current that the phone is sens sensing. So for a emergency charger or a camping and outdoor charger, I think this uh, 21 watt solar charger from Wisp Blue would be a very nice addition to your bug out bag or just your camping kit. As you can see, the panel is small and with 21 watts of output power, it will easily charge your devices. Just keep in mind that you'll need sunlight. When the panels are shaded or not pointed at the sun, the output falls off dramatically. Keep in mind that nearly discharged device will take quite a while to recharge. So far, I'm pretty impressed with the small panel and I'm looking forward to putting it to use on my upcoming camping trips. Again, if you found this video helpful, please click the thumbs up icon and subscribe to the Gadget Talk channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching.